Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a special guest with us today. SJ. <laughs> welcome to Radiant Oris and my mom's going to show you a um like a candle cake. Birthday cake candle. Birthday cake candle. And um <laughs> and and if you like the video, like this video and subscribe. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> that was good. He took right over. <laughs> So this is my darling, dear son. Dear son, that's called Sterling. Well, you can call me Esther if you want. <laughs> well, his name is Sterling, um, but we call him SJ for short because he's a junior. We are going to be making together my first attempt to make a birthday cake candle. I am going to try to put a little spin on it and make it a little fun. So he's going to help me with the colors. We're gonna to try to do like a funfetti birthday cake wax mountain candle. And like this video and subscribe. All right, so we will be doing this together for the first time. He is so excited. He's actually interested in having his own little channel because he's just full of life. <laughs> We're gonna get started and Hopefully you guys watch to the end. Stay tuned. Okay, and welcome to SJ Family World. Bye. Okay, so we are going to get right into opening up this box. Thank you so much for tuning in. As you can see, Sterling is very excited for this video. This is a small box of supplies that I received in today. So we got right to it. Just got some fragrance oils and some liquid dye for our birthday cake candles and wax melts. the colors i'm going to get everything set up and ready for our pouring session you want to say something mm -hmm. what hey so um so at the end of the video leave the comments if you want to tell me your favorite color if my favorite color is blue purple and 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 see if you could guess the darker shade of these two colors let's see if you can guess <laughs> so just in case you did not understand what he was saying he just wants to be able to see your guys's comments of your favorite colors and what color is the darkest between the ones that he named Sugar before. You have to taste sugar. I'm talking about candy. Like, like, you know, like the sugar that's right. That's not sugar. I'm talking about that. But I want you to understand that's not sugar. That's wax. It looks like sugar, but it's not sugar. So don't come down here messing with that. I know, but when you said sugar, I got nervous. That's not sugar. Okay. What made you think of sugar? That, yeah, that made you think of sugar. That's I, not sugar. I, I, I know that's not sugar. I, I, it just looked like sugar. That just made me say that. I wish I taste sugar. Not, not that time of like real sugar. All right. It looks like it looks like it's tasty. I'm telling you that is not Sterling. Do you understand? Sugar. It's poison. That's poison. That's not food. So right? Okay. That's not sugar. That's not food. That is poison. If you try to eat it, it'll mess you up big time. Mm -hmm. Like hospital. Real bad. So don't even think about it. Okay. It, it looks like sugar, but it's not sugar. Do you understand? Okay, but do sugar taste good? I'm yeah. Not... Food sugar upstairs. Do you understand what I'm saying? 
Do you understand what I am saying? Yes. Okay. I want to make sure. That's important, Sterling. Okay. This was really a teachable moment for me because I really never considered him coming downstairs messing in my candle stuff. He never is really around like he was today during this video. So he really got a chance to see me pour that particular wax that I was dealing with today. And it's in little granules and it does look a lot like sugar. And I just got so nervous and right away, as soon as he said something about sugar, I was thinking in my mind, what, why is he talking about sugar? But then as soon as he said white sugar, it clicked like, oh no, oh, wait a minute, hold up, wait a minute. Let me go ahead and really help him understand that this is not something that you want to be playing with. So that really made me want to take some extra precautions and really make sure that my stuff is in a location where you know, he he can't get to it. He can't, you know, try to figure out if we had not had that firm and stern conversation about that particular wax that looks like sugar. Um, he is seven, but could he have possibly mistaken that wax for sugar? So this has really um, put me in a different mindset, mind frame. But I'm going to get back to the video. He is super, super excited right now. I'm just thinking of a way to try to get this colorant. So I'm trying to figure out the easiest way for me to get all these colors onto the wax. And I thought that I would just put a little drop of the liquid dye in each little cavity. That was a major fail. Major fail. After going back, looking at the directions on how you actually supposed to measure out the liquid dye. It was just so concentrated. It was so dark, all the colors. So I actually ended up having to rework it and put it in separate, add more wax. And I just had to do a larger quantity because that liquid dye is totally different from the dye chips. So I had to just do something a little different um so this project took a little longer than I would have liked it to but now I know look at him <laughs> okay we have blue red Honey is gonna be like yellow. Okay. So it's gonna be like yellow. Okay. It smells like cookies. It smells like cookies because it's it's birthday cake. Yeah, it smells like the cookies from upstairs, right? It's not. Uh, it kind of yeah, it smells like
but it's not food. I know. It looks, it looks, it looks delicious, but it tastes like you can't eat it. It's because it's a candle. It's not real. It's not food. It's not a real tree. It's not. I can't wait to see the color. Are you excited? Yes, I'm excited. Wait, you, this is your first. Yeah. This is my first time seeing it with you. This is the like oil. Oil and water don't mix. Right? Nope, oil and water do not mix. You guys can see how adorable he is. He is just dancing and celebrating. He's so smart. I'm so proud of him. And I just sped this up a little bit because it was just kind of loud. <laughs> he can't wait to see the color that it turns out. Neither can I. I'm just realizing as I'm pouring it in there how dark and concentrated that color is with that little teeny bit of old wax but i gave it a good try trial and error <laughs> okay that's the end of the video and but leave the comments below what's your favorite color and subscribe and don't forget to subscribe bye that's not my music in the background, but I'm going to continue on with this voiceover because Sterling is staying up so late so he could just go on to his YouTube and watch our video. As you guys can see, I had to make some changes, as I mentioned a little earlier. I just basically added more wax and fragrance uh, to these colors so that it wouldn't be so concentrated and it could stretch it out because as you know I don't waste product <laughs> if I can help it I'm not wasting it so I just stretched it and Whatever I decide, whether it be candles, wickless candles, or just wax melts, whatever I decide to add to the product line, I am ahead of the game. And of course, I ran out. I didn't have enough heart. I do have quite a few heart molds, but I didn't feel like waiting because it had already taken up so much time. So I just... Did the orange and whatever I could. It's all going to be getting cut up anyway. All right. So now that I have all the colors ready, I had to make some changes. Doing it this way was a disaster. I will be still using this for the Funfetti wax melts. So I'm going to crush these up and make my... Funfetti colors and then we'll make this candle and these wax melts. So I will be back once I get my colors. So now that I have it all chopped up, I have gotten some in my jar and in my wax melt mold. Hopefully this works. I don't think it will because it's so little sticking to the sides of my jar. But I have a lot to add into this candle. So we are going to see how this Funfetti turns out. I'm just mixing in my fragrance oil, stirring, stirring, stirring. So I sped it up a little bit. And now I'm about to pour.
Okay, we are finished. I did it a couple different ways. I chopped up the wax mounts really, really fine. This is gonna be a wigless test. And then I did a wigged, which didn't really come out too good. It smells good, but it doesn't look too good. And I did have them all up the sides, but then I guess the wax was just too warm and it pushed it down. I did some wax melts. So they look okay. I did get the funfetti effect that I was trying to achieve. So that was really good. Um, so this is how it looks. And it smells really good. It smells really good. I'm not really a bakery person, but it smells really good. Sterling did an awesome job. He helped me cut up the colors. And then, of course, he wanted to go play, which was expected. So thank you guys so much for watching. I think if I'm going to do this birthday cake candle, I may go with this one out of all of them you can really see the colors this one just looks like fruity pebbles But this was really fun. This was really fun. I know they're gonna smell good. I just don't know if I'm gonna do any candles. I might just stick with wax melts because they were super easy. Um, I don't, I'm not gonna use this circle. I really enjoy the hearts. Um, and they fit really good in my packaging that I have. So that's it for the video. Thank you guys for tuning in. And this was my take on the birthday cake candle and wax melt. It is really, really messy, but I do have loads and loads of birthday cake wax melts that I can chop up for my Funfetti, which is awesome. So if I do decide to add this to my product line, I think it'll be wax melts. The candles... I mean, I would really have liked it to look better, but it just, I don't know, maybe I have to adjust my pour temp. I don't know if I just, if I want to deal with all that. So this one is the big chunks. This one is all little chunks. And these are the wax mats. But okay, thank you guys. Leave me a comment, like this video, and don't forget to subscribe.